how can you whistle, you let loose the ball, and then you take it up with the hand, and then you find some rule afterwards saying that there was not a penalty. Gabriel was under no pressure. It's not like he panicked and put his hand on the ball because he saw pressure coming in. He thought he was resetting it. There were the controversy of he had given this. The only person I've met on the planet uh, is Jan that thinks it should have been a penalty. And Thomas Tuchel. Uh, and Thomas Tuchel. Okay. I, I Which don't people think... do you meet in your <laughs> daily life? The <laughs> explanation you had there is just ludicrous. What do you say there? Because what? because because he wasn't pressure, that is not a free no. kick. So this is, your, this is your new rule, then. There was no pressure on Gabriel, so why would he do that if he didn't think he was just Yeah, but it was a whistle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what Gabriel no, thinks or thought. This has nothing to do with the case. So that you I have think to you're get, desperate get some to get German teams into the next round because they've had such a bad season. And you are Munich. desperate to going after Thomas Tuchel. If that's the best proof you're having, you better have a good lawyer. No, Why would he do it if he wasn't so, resetting the play? Yeah, but so, so that is a new rule now in the rule book that every player can think, ah, oh, I, I thought I heard a whistle before. Oh, no, no, Craig, <laughs> terrible, you terrible. Must, you, you've definitely applied for a German passport. <laughs> So, as you may have seen, the guys definitely got into that last night. Now, Craig's met all of you on this panel, so we're going to get your take on what happened in that controversial moment where Gabrielle picked up the ball. It was played to him by David Raya, and no penalty was given. OK. Where to start on this one? Gab. I am one million percent with uh, Craig, with Glenn Nyberg. I think it's kind of sad and pathetic that Thomas Tuchel made such a big deal of this out of the game. He strikes me as the kind of person who, who would have somebody arrested and thrown in prison for jaywalking at 5 a.m. on Christmas morning because, oh, look, you're not on the stripes. Listen, um, <clears throat> we have laws of the game essentially for two reasons, uh, to protect the safety of the players and to make sure nobody gets an unfair advantage. This is not an issue of safety. This was not an issue of anybody getting an unfair advantage. We also have a basic concept uh, called proportionality. If he whistles for that, all he can do is give a penalty. He can't book Gabrielle. He can't give them one of those silly indirect free kicks inside the box from which nobody ever scores. He has to go and give a penalty. And as Nyberg said correctly, he said it would be absolutely ridiculous to go and decide a Champions League quarterfinal based on something this persnickety. He didn't use the word persnickety, I will. Um, and he's absolutely right. And, and why Tuchel went ballistic over this, and, you know, I, I, I frankly don't get it. You know, let, let's go talk about Harry Kane's elbow, uh, why don't we? Uh, maybe that's what he's doing. I don't know. I, I just find this completely silly, and I'm all for the letter of the law, but I also want people who, I want referees who can manage games, use common sense, and understand the spirit of the laws of the game. So the ref was right. Is this is this schoolboy football we're playing where everybody gets a medal and and all that? So because Gabriel isn't concentrating and doesn't under doesn't realise that his goalkeeper's taken it and he picks it up, then you get to go again. And you can come out I, I, you can come out with yeah. all this and the spirit of the game and all the rest of it. This is it's called professional football. You have to be professional. What would you do? What would you do if somebody took a free kick and the goalkeeper went, hold on a minute, I, I wasn't ready? Well, in the spirit of the game, we'll need to retake the free kick. No, Gabriel has to understand what's going yeah, on. You don't get Gab an advantage. If you take a free I'm kick, not I'm, you get I'm an not advantage. Interested There's in no advantage I don't care. Here. I don't care about all this, all this grey area advantage. Nobody gets a, an advantage or, or nobody's hurt. Or there's, there, listen, when the, when the ball's rolling, the ball's <laughs> in play and you pick it up, it's, it's handball. And you can't turn around and say, yeah. well, I didn't realise it was in play. And then because there's nobody around, then we get to take a, get a do-over. It's a penalty kick. It's called professional football. Professional. You got, when you're playing the game, you have to be alive, you have to be switched on. And if the goalkeeper takes the goal kick and rolls it to me, it, it's my responsibility to know that he's actually put the ball in play. I can't just pick the ball up and go, oh, sorry, I didn't realise, and let's go and do a do-over. Do 
I mean, that's that's just not. You know, it's they, they, not they, right. They, they, not right I, at I all. I don't want a Champions League draw decided by the letter of the law. Just decided like by I didn't a want the mistake. 2006 World Cup. But it's a player's it's, mistake, it's not, but, 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 but it's, it's not a significant mistake. It's not. Of course it is. It's, it's not it's, anything relevant. I'll tell you relevant. how significant it's it is. It's not relevant to it the game. It would have been a penalty kick and probably a goal. Yeah. So it's a significant mistake. It's a significant mistake for a professional <laughs> in the middle of a game not to be tuned into what's going on. That's what it <laughs> is. The handball law wasn't designed to punish things like that. And I think we all, we can all recognise that. Now we can all... You know, act like Tuchel if we like, sure. And but it's also like, do you even want to win? Do you want to advance based on this? Like, would you as a coach? Of say, course oh, I yeah, do. I'm really Think proud I could kill it. To God. go to go through. Oh look, ha ha. I couldn't kill oh, us. Boy, I'm, I'm really good because Gabriel picked up the ball. I couldn't Come kill on. us. If Honestly. I'm Thomas Tuchel and I'm sat on the bench, I want a penalty kick. I want a penalty kick. Of course Nad you do. Nadim, where do you stand on it? So I stand with Jan, I stand with Stevie, and I think it's one of the most ridiculous bits of play I've seen. And I think maybe what we're sort of disregarding is like the initial mistake, in my opinion, is from Raya, because we've seen goalkeepers have this set up before for a goal kick, and they usually roll the ball to a player or throw it to them so that the player can then initiate the goal kick by putting the ball down and then playing it to the goalie. So I think Raya's made that initial mistake, and uh, Gabriel's obviously sleeping. Because he thinks Ryan must have rolled it to him, which is why he's gone with his hand himself. And I don't think the fact that, you know, it goes against the spirit of the game and so on should really matter, in my opinion, to this instance. Because it's a mistake that those guys have made. People might make a mistake that leads to somebody going through that doesn't necessarily award a penalty, but can still lead to a goal anyway. So I think Gabriel is, if we probably look back at footage, I'm sure he's received the ball from Raya with his hands in the air. But if this penalty was given, what would Arsenal's players' argument have been about the referee giving them a, giving a penalty against them? Because they can't say the referee didn't blow, it, blow his whistle because he did. This is a mistake that those guys have made. And yes, it might seem like a really weird way to score a goal, but it's a really weird way because we're watching some of the highest standard of football in Europe and around the world. Like, Raya and Gabriel should be doing better in that situation. If they make a mistake like that, I think they're incredibly lucky to get away with it. And again, like I say, sometimes you can have a penalty given against you and you can try and plead your case. What case would they have been pleading to the referee if you gave a penalty in that moment? For me, I can't think of one. Two against one there, Gab. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I, I take on board what Nadim has, uh, what Nadim said. They wouldn't have had a legal case if you go by the letter of the law. Um, but I do wonder, we hear so often when we go and we watch games, um, we, we talk about, oh, why can't referees use more common sense? Why can't they use more discretion? Why can't we have common sense refereeing? Let's put X players in VAR and all this nonsense. Here, to me, is a very, very obvious case. And I don't think it's a question of it being professionals or, or anything. It's a question, if you want to talk about professionals, if you want to talk about business, if you want to talk about sports entertainment, do you want a game decided by something like this? Um, by, by, by some sort of maniacal adherence to the laws. I think uh, Nyberg showed a lot of uh, uh, courage on the, the opposite of what Thomas Tuchel said, where you know, he, he basically called him a wuss and said he wasn't courageous enough. Um, he showed a lot of courage in doing this because he will get uh, criticism from people who believe that you should apply the letter of the law in, in all instances and whatever else. Um, and he made that, and I have absolutely no issue. I want to see games won on the pitch by teams competing, not through nonsense like this. Do you see Gab's point, Nadem? Um, I see it more so from a very, 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 very just like calm way, which unfortunately isn't the way that I played football or lots of other people. And I think <laughs> I'd be quite furious if that was something that I was playing against and I watched it happen, because you will feel outraged. The referee might make decisions which you completely disagree with around the field which you know, like he's doing because of the letter of law or whatever. And in this instance, as I say, they've made a mistake. In fact, you could argue they've made two and they're not being punished for it because the referee says, well, it's not the right way to decide this game. Well, a lot of games are decided by mistakes, especially later in the game anyway. If they're going to be switching off for that time, like, trust me, I guarantee that they will not do that mistake again because they know how big that moment was and how they got away with it. And I think that says a lot about the nature of uh, the decision the referee made, because I still believe it to be an incorrect one. 
Th just one point on Gab's common sense thing. Yes, we do say things like that. But when we're talking about that, we're talking about a situation where Van Persie gets sent off in the Champions League for, for kicking the ball away, right? That, that is a, would have been a common sense thing not to send them off. This, this has got nothing to do with common sense. This is a player making a mistake. It's a mental error. The same as playing people on side. The same as bringing somebody... It's, a, it's mental error. It's a complete and utter mental error. And that's why he should have been dealt with Wait, we're, with a Sorry, penalty kick. We, how is Van Persie point, kicking the ball away not a mental error? Well, because there's a, the ball away, be, because a there's, a, there's a gray, there was a grey area whether he could have not heard the, the whistle and there was a sufficient time span between it where the referee could have went, you know what, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. You can't give somebody right. just picking the ball up, Gab, the benefit of the doubt. That, that's just a complete and total, utter so Ber mental error that has to be punished. Yeah, so Van Persie could have not it. heard the whistle, but Gabrielle must have heard it. All right, I, I, don't, I don't follow well, why this. Did